Insects are some of the most diverse and fascinating creatures on our planet. They make up over half of all known living organisms, with estimates of millions of species yet to be discovered. From the tiniest ants to the majestic butterflies, insects play crucial roles in ecosystems around the world. Their sheer numbers and adaptability have allowed them to thrive in almost every environment, from the depths of the ocean to the highest mountains. Insects are incredibly diverse in their shapes, sizes, colors, and behaviors. Some are masters of camouflage, blending seamlessly into their surroundings, while others display vibrant warning colors to deter predators. One of the most intriguing aspects of insects is their incredible reproductive capabilities. Many insects undergo metamorphosis, transforming from egg to larva to pupa before emerging as adults. This process allows them to exploit different food sources and habitats at various stages of their lives. Insects have also developed remarkable survival strategies, such as mimicry, chemical defenses, and complex social structures. Studying insects not only provides insights into their biology, but also offers valuable lessons in adaptation, cooperation, and resilience. As we delve deeper into the mysterious world of insects, we uncover a wealth of wonders waiting to be explored. Bees are remarkable creatures known for their complex social structures and highly organized societies. At the heart of every bee colony is the queen bee, the mother of all the bees in the hive. Her primary role is to lay eggs, ensuring the survival and growth of the colony. Worker bees, which are all female, take on various tasks within the hive, such as caring for the young, building and repairing the hive, and foraging for food. These industrious workers communicate through intricate dances and pheromones, allowing them to coordinate their efforts effectively. Drones, the male bees, have the sole purpose of mating with the queen to ensure the colony's genetic diversity. However, once their task is complete, drones are often expelled from the hive as they consume valuable resources without contributing to the hive's productivity. The hive itself is a marvel of engineering, with hexagonal beeswax cells used for storing honey, pollen, and developing larvae. Bees exhibit a high degree of cooperation and altruism, with individuals sacrificing themselves for the greater good of the colony. Interestingly, bees have a sophisticated system of governance, with decisions made collectively through a process known as swarm intelligence. When a hive becomes overcrowded or the queen is aging, a new queen bee is raised to take her place. This process involves the workers selecting a few larvae to be fed royal jelly, a special substance that triggers their development into queens. The first queen to emerge will seek out and eliminate any rival queens to establish her dominance. Bees also display remarkable communication skills, using intricate dances known as the waggle dance to convey information about food sources and potential nesting sites. Through these dances, bees can communicate the direction, distance, and quality of a food source to their fellow foragers. The Society of Bees is a testament to the power of cooperation, communication, and division of labor in achieving collective success. By studying bee societies, we gain valuable insights into the principles of social organization and resilience that can be applied to our own communities and organizations. Within a bee colony, each member has a specific role to play, contributing to the overall success and survival of the hive. The queen bee, as the matriarch of the colony, is responsible for laying eggs, ensuring the continuity of the hive's population. She emits pheromones that regulate the behavior and development of the other bees. Worker bees, which are all female, are the backbone of the colony. They perform a multitude of tasks, including nursing the young, building and maintaining the hive, foraging for food, and defending the colony. Worker bees transition through different roles as they age. Young worker bees start by cleaning cells and caring for the brood, then progress to tasks such as producing beeswax, feeding older larvae, and guarding the hive entrance. As they mature, they become foragers, venturing out to collect nectar, pollen, water, and propolis. The foragers communicate the location of food sources to their hive mates through the waggle dance, a complex form of communication that conveys distance, direction, and quality of the food. Drones, the male bees, have a singular purpose in the colony to mate with the queen. They do not participate in hive tasks, 
and are expelled from the hive during times of scarcity. Drones are larger than worker bees and do not possess stingers. Their presence is essential for genetic diversity within the colony. The division of labor within a bee colony is a finely tuned system that ensures the efficient functioning of the hive. Each bee knows its role and performs it diligently for the greater good of the colony. Interestingly, worker bees exhibit age polyethism, meaning that their tasks change as they age. This flexibility allows the colony to adapt to changing needs and ensures that all necessary functions are carried out. The intricate social structure of a bee colony highlights the importance of cooperation, communication, and specialization in achieving collective success. By understanding the roles within a bee colony, we gain insights into the power of teamwork and division of labor in complex societies. Communication is essential in the intricate social structure of a bee colony, where thousands of individuals work together towards a common goal. Bees have evolved sophisticated ways to convey information to their fellow hive mates, ensuring the smooth functioning of the colony. One of the most fascinating forms of communication in bee colonies is the waggle dance. This intricate dance performed by forager bees communicates the location, distance, and quality of food sources to other bees in the hive. Through a combination of movements and vibrations, the dancing bee conveys detailed information that enables her sisters to locate the food with remarkable accuracy. The waggle dance is a remarkable example of how bees use movement and touch to share vital information within the colony. In addition to the waggle dance, bees also communicate through pheromones, chemical signals that trigger specific behaviors in other bees. For example, the queen bee emits pheromones that regulate the behavior and development of the colony while worker bees release alarm pheromones to alert others to potential threats. These chemical signals play a crucial role in coordinating the activities of the hive and maintaining social order. By combining dance, touch, and chemical signals, bees have developed a highly effective communication system that allows them to thrive as a cohesive unit. Bees face a myriad of challenges in their daily lives, many of which are exacerbated by human activities and environmental changes. One of the most pressing issues is habitat loss, as urbanization and agricultural expansion encroach upon natural bee habitats. This loss of diverse foraging areas limits the food sources available to bees, leading to nutritional stress and decreased colony health. Pesticide use is another significant threat to bee populations. Chemicals used in agriculture can contaminate nectar and pollen, harming bees and disrupting their delicate immune systems. Pesticides have been linked to declines in bee populations worldwide, highlighting the urgent need for sustainable farming practices. Climate change poses a growing threat to bees, affecting their foraging patterns, nesting behaviors, and overall survival. Rising temperatures and unpredictable weather patterns can disrupt the delicate balance of bee ecosystems, leading to mismatches between flowering plants and bee pollinators. This disruption can have cascading effects on biodiversity and food security. Parasites and diseases also pose a significant challenge to bee colonies. Varroa mites, in particular, are a major threat to honeybee populations, weakening bees and transmitting deadly viruses. Beekeepers must constantly monitor and manage these pests to protect their hives. Invasive species, such as the Asian giant hornet, present a direct threat to bee colonies. These predators can decimate bee populations, causing widespread damage to ecosystems and agricultural crops. Finally, monoculture agriculture, where large areas are planted with a single crop, limits the diversity of food sources available to bees. This lack of floral variety can lead to nutritional deficiencies and weaken bee immune systems. Addressing these challenges requires a multifaceted approach that includes habitat conservation, sustainable farming practices, and integrated pest management strategies. By understanding and mitigating the threats facing bees, we can work towards ensuring the survival and well-being of these vital pollinators. Ants are social insects that live in highly organized colonies, displaying remarkable cooperation and division of labor. A typical ant colony consists of a queen, workers, and sometimes soldiers. The queen's primary role is to lay eggs, ensuring the colony's growth and survival. Worker ants are responsible for various tasks, such as caring for the young, foraging for food, 
and defending the colony. Soldiers, if present, protect the colony from threats and intruders. Ant colonies exhibit a high degree of organization, with each member knowing its role and carrying out tasks efficiently. Ants communicate through a combination of chemical signals, touch, and sound. They release pheromones to mark trails, signal danger, and coordinate group activities. Ants also use tactile cues such as antennal contact to convey information to one another. Some ant species produce sounds by stridulation, rubbing body parts together to create vibrations that communicate specific messages. One of the most fascinating aspects of ant society is their complex social structure. Ant colonies can consist of millions of individuals working together towards a common goal. Each ant has a specific role based on age, size, and caste, contributing to the overall success of the colony. Ant colonies are known for their impressive nests, which can vary in size and complexity depending on the species. Some ants build elaborate underground tunnels, while others construct intricate above-ground mounds or nests in trees. Ants are known for their agricultural practices, with some species cultivating fungus as a food source. Leafcutter ants, for example, harvest leaves to feed their fungal gardens, demonstrating a sophisticated level of farming behavior. Ant colonies also exhibit a high level of cooperation and altruism. Ants will sacrifice themselves for the good of the colony, defending it against predators or repairing damage to the nest. This selfless behavior ensures the survival and prosperity of the colony as a whole. Studying ant societies provides valuable insights into social organization, communication, and cooperation in the natural world. By observing and understanding the complexities of ant colonies, we can learn valuable lessons about teamwork, resilience, and community dynamics. Within an ant colony, each member has a specific role to play contributing to the overall success and survival of the colony. The queen ant holds a central position in the colony, responsible for laying eggs and ensuring the continuity of the ant population. She emits pheromones that regulate the behavior and development of the other ants in the colony. Worker ants, which are all female, form the majority of the colony and perform a wide range of tasks essential for the colony's functioning. These tasks include caring for the young, foraging for food, maintaining the nest, and defending the colony against intruders. Worker ants transition through different roles as they age, starting with caring for the brood and progressing to tasks such as foraging and nest maintenance. Interestingly, worker ants exhibit a high degree of flexibility in their roles, allowing them to adapt to the colony's changing needs. Soldier ants, if present in the colony, are responsible for protecting the colony from threats and intruders. They have larger heads and powerful mandibles, making them well-suited for defense. Soldier ants may also participate in tasks such as nest repair and foraging for food. The division of labor within an ant colony is a finely tuned system that ensures the efficient functioning of the colony. Each ant knows its role and carries it out diligently for the greater good of the colony. Ant colonies exhibit a remarkable level of cooperation and coordination, with individuals working together seamlessly to achieve common goals. The success of the colony relies on the collective effort of all its members, each contributing in their unique way. By understanding the roles within an ant colony, we gain insights into the power of teamwork, specialization, and division of labor in achieving collective success. Bee and ant societies are both fascinating examples of highly organized and cooperative insect colonies, but they exhibit distinct differences in their structure and behavior. Bees are known for their hierarchical social structure, with a queen bee at the helm of the colony. The queen's primary role is to lay eggs, while worker bees perform various tasks such as caring for the young, foraging for food, and building and maintaining the hive. In contrast, ant colonies typically have a queen ant, but also consist of worker ants, and in some species, soldier ants. Worker ants carry out a wide range of tasks, including caring for the young, foraging, and nest maintenance, while soldier ants are responsible for defense. Bees communicate primarily through intricate dances and pheromones, using these signals to convey information about food sources and nesting sites. Ants, on the other hand, Communicate through a combination of chemical signals, touch, and sound, with pheromones playing a crucial role in coordinating colony activities. 
Both bee and ant colonies exhibit high levels of cooperation and altruism, with individuals working together for the collective good. Interestingly, bees are known for their agricultural practices, such as honey production, while some ant species engage in farming fungus as a food source. Despite their differences, both bee and ant societies showcase the power of teamwork, division of labor, and social organization in achieving success in the natural world.